that they may see Jesus Christ teaching his disciples how to pray. He doesn't want them to be I center. I want this, I want that, I want no. He doesn't want his disciples to be I center. He wants his disciples to be God centered. And therefore the prayer is your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your will be done means that is everything we are putting into the hands of God. And therefore Jesus says, May your kingdom come each day forgive us our sins. And therefore we place all that into the hands of God. And that is how you and I will learn to pray. That we put our trust in God. When we put our trust in God, the word I will not, the word I will not come at all. Because we are going to say, Your will be done. Because we are going to say, Lord, it is only you who can do this. It is only how we know that everything depends on God. And most especially when it concerns to our daily bread, we totally depend on God. It is not our efforts, it is not our earnings, but the bread, daily bread that we receive is from God. Therefore, we always pray, give us today our daily bread. And then we know that we can't in a way by ourselves do things but with the help of God we can do wonders and therefore the egoistic prayer should be removed from our lives and the God-centered prayer should be active that is how our prayer life should be suppose you always say I want this, I want that Will God really give you? He will give you, but it will not remain for God. It is because you want it for yourself. When you ask God, you say, Your will be done, then the Lord in all His abundance pours out upon you all that He wants you to have. Because He has the measure. He has the plan and he has the way how to give it. And all that we can say is you all will be done. Today, my dear friends, when you pray, see how many times you are saying, Lord, I want this. And how many times you are saying, you all will be done. 